watch the cutscene. This is Command and Conquer Renegade, made in 2002 by EA Games and Westwood Studios. Back when Westwood Studios still existed. So, yeah. This is a first person shooter game, quite different than all the Command and Conquer games, which are mostly strategy. We did one before, Generals. But this is based on the Tiberium universe. And so. Yeah, I love the Command and Conquerors. Every one of them. Generals, Red Alert, and uh, Tiberium and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more of those in the future. Starting with this one. Let's go! So, we're gonna go through the tutorial first. Yeah, that happens whenever things start loading. I Welcome don't... back to Basic Havoc. My name's Logan Shepard. I'll be your guide for this refresher course. This training will take you through tactical movement, weapon reusage, vehicle pilot, vehicle, and base operation. You blah, can blah, move blah. forward, back, strafe left, and strafe right with the movement keys. All of your controls can be customized to suit your taste via the options menu. Practice moving around, then meet me in the next section. Wonderful. So yeah, before we go forward, i tell you guys something. Oh, this game. Well, it's not that well made for even computers, so I'm having a bit of trouble recording it. I had to lock my game at 40 FPS. What the heck was that noise? Yeah, so this game's locked at 40 FPS, which should be good. Although, I think 60 FPS would obviously still be better, but what can I do? It lags when I get to 60 FPS. Like, the sound goes crazy. Might be due to my lousy computer for this day and age, but... Hopefully that won't be affecting this let's play much. Also, notice, no music, or ambience, or nothing. Just dead silence. Okay, what, what, what were we doing? Oh my gosh, I don't like when that happens. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Here you'll learn about jumping and climbing. Pressing the jump key makes you jump. To climb a ladder, approach the ladder and press the action key. Now it's time for a test. Climb this ladder and jump to the opposite crate. Couldn't even see him there. And yes, press jump key to jump. Press E to hold on to ladders. We somehow teleported up here. It's fine. Let's just jump through that crate. Or we could have just walked through. Oh no, we could. <laughs> Whatever. Jump. Just Looks walk. like you've got it. Now, let's cover your EVA unit. That device on your left arm is called EVA, short for Electronic Video Assistant. The most important thing EVA does is track mission objectives. I'll activate your first mission objective. Notice EVA announced the objective and indicated the location on your radar in the lower left-hand corner with a green star. Mission objectives come in three different varieties. Primary, secondary, and hidden objectives. The green star indicates a primary mission objective. Objectives of this type must be completed for mission success. The data link includes a map, mission data, and a dynamically updated combat database. You can access any data link screen by pressing the EVA key, which activates the most recently viewed EVA page. That covers it for EVA. Just remember to refer back to your data links whenever you need tactical information. During missions, the action key can be used to interact with people and equipment. You can talk to a soldier by using the action key. Ask the soldier at the exit to open the gate, and we'll move on. Wonderful. Be quiet. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, okay, never mind. Hopefully that was just for me. Look, there's not soldiers, you caliber. We do have infinite automatic pistol ammo. Keep an eye out. Open the day. A gate for me. Thank you. See you there. Whoa! How did you get there so fast? Seriously. 
You were like right over here. You must have like sprinted or something. This door requires level one security clearance. I get it. I wasn't intending to go there though. Don't worry about it. So yeah. Hey Logan, how's it going? Notice though, this guy looks stoned. <laughs> I know it's just he has black paint over his eyes, but yeah. This now door requires I'll show you how to use security, security cards. Clearance. Notice the color of this door. You'll need a green security card to open it. Yellow doors will require yellow cards, and red doors require red cards. Here's a green security card. This is the advanced guard tower. It provides automated base defenses. Now head inside and down the elevator. Sydney is waiting for you there. Yes, sir. Whee. Hey. hey, Havoc. Here you will learn more about your electronic video assistant. Eva, for short. On the bottom of your display are two meters, one for health and one for armor. As you take damage, these meters decrease. Armor reduces the amount of damage you take. Here's an example. Watch what happens when I shoot you. Hey, uh, ow. is that necessary? Notice your health has decreased. As it gets lower, the meter turns yellow, then red to indicate you are near death. Now it's time for power-ups. This is a health power-up. Pick it up and I'll continue. As long as you're not gonna shoot me again. Agree. Can I shoot you back? Come on. No, we can't. Your health meter is full again. Now let's try an armor power-up. Pick this one up, and I'll continue. We have the sound cut off just now. Yay, armor? Oh, armor. Now your there armor meter is full, meaning your armor is completely intact. Now watch your health and armor meters again. You wanna oh. cut that out? That's the last time. <laughs> Honest. Notice how your armor was damaged, but you lost less health. Okay, you should be clear on power-ups, so let's move on to your radar. In addition to mission objectives, your radar shows the position of infantry, vehicles, and buildings. Radar shows your immediate surroundings, but your overhead map provides a more strategic view. Press the map key to take a look at your overhead map. Infantry appear as circles. Note the yellow circle showing my position on the radar. GDI units appear in yellow. Nod units in red. Neutral units appear in white. Watch the red triangle representing the Nod vehicle as it passes on the radar. Notice the yellow square indicating the position of this GDI building. Actually, it's showing the position of the Master Control Terminal, but we'll cover it later. Don't want to confuse the grunt, huh? Building operations are part of another tutorial. Speaking of other tutorials, let's get moving. I'll have Eva highlight your next mission objective. Back to the tour bus. I'll catch you later. Helicopter sound is a bit annoying. There we go. Stopped. She hey, likes me. Oh, really? I didn't get that. She shot. This is shot the infantry twice. barracks. Inside, Gunner will explain weaponry basics. Sorry. Give me that. Hey, you can explain to me about weapons. I have a Gunner, long time, pal. What you got for me? This is the infantry barracks where we process recruits. Nod has an equivalent building called Hand of Nod. We'll be using this infantry barracks in the firing range out back for weaponry training. This first weapon is the Vervac Commando Elite Falcon Automatic Pistol. Select it by pressing the handguns key and head out back to the firing range. No, oh, sure. Well, I have this pistol equipped already. What do you want me to do? I guess we'll just head back up. Notice your targeting reticle has Whoa. an outer circle and an inner dot. The outer circle shows where you're pointing the weapon. The inner dot shows where the weapon will actually hit. You may have an obstacle in the way which prevents you from targeting properly. Point the automatic pistol at any target on the range. When you have a valid target, the reticle turns red. If you're reloading or out of ammunition, the reticle turns yellow. Further in Next is the Vervac R59 Pierce Sniper Rifle. Select the sniper rifle by pressing the sniper weapon's yeah, we key. This weapon serves two already. functions. Accurate long-range targeting oh. and sound detection. Use secondary air. fire to activate the scope. The air, you can zoom like in and air. out using the zoom control keys. The weapon is equipped with a directional microphone, which can pick up conversations at long ranges. Use oh, secondary cool. fire again to deactivate the scope. Only your automatic pistol has infinite ammunition. You need to watch ammunition for other weapons, like this sniper rifle. 
The remaining ammunition in your clip and the total count of remaining ammunition is shown at the bottom of your display. Another indicator of ammo loss is your targeting reticle. If it turns yellow, okay, you're either in need of reloading yes, or out know. of ammunition. Red means fire, yellow means I need ammo, gotcha. To the next weapon is the Corbretti AR-70 Raptor Automatic Rifle. Use the oh, automatic yeah. weapons key to select I this think weapon. I'm just this is good stuff, it. Gunner. When do we get to the real explosives? Eliminate the targets and then come back for more exotic uh, weaponry. Okay. Do we have a run? Uh, apparently not. Next up is the Sackles A 66mm Type R12 Locust Automatic Rocket Launcher. Select this weapon by pressing the rocket launcher key. Take your time destroying all the time. Let's move on to your line of work. Press the mines key for remote C4 explosive. Use primary fire to place the C4 charge on a target. Then move to a safe distance before detonating with your secondary fire. This is a lot to swallow in one sitting. You'll get it. You're a quick study. We have one last item. Come back when all targets have been destroyed. Yep. This is gonna be fun, I can tell. This last item is the GS-2 Godsend Satellite uh -oh. Targeting Device, otherwise known as the Ion Cannon Beacon. This is used to guide orbiting Ion Cannon satellites to their targets. Nod has a similar device known as a Nuclear Strike Beacon. You can guess what it's for. Select the beacon, head out to the firing range, and place it in the location oh, designated shit. by the objective marker on your radar. Arm and plant the Ion Cannon Beacon by using primary fire. Arming a beacon takes a few moments, so you'll have to stay put till the arming meter is completed to see. Once the beacon is set, retreat to a safe distance to avoid damage from the Ion Cannon Blast. After you're done, head in and I'll send you on your way. Ouch. That, that was kind of crazy. That's not all the weaponry you'll encounter, but these instructions should get you started. Now, I believe you're to go to the weapons factory. I'll indicate your next location on your radar. Stay thanks, safe man. out there, mate. Thanks for yeah. the class, Gunner. I'll see you on the field. Yep, thanks for the class. Uh, I'll see you next time, buddy. Um, yeah. Later. No, don't do that. Uh, have a nice day, Gunner. So, let's go, man. What was that? Oh, nothing. Oh, don't worry, guys. He's fine. The roof probably protected him well. Logan, will you stop? This is the weapons factory. Head inside and Hotwire will continue your instruction. Don't wait up for me. Wish I didn't have to, sir. Well, yeah, this tutorial is pretty long. We're A pleasure get... to work with you again, Gosh, Havoc. Stop. This is the weapons factory. The weapons factory controls vehicle production at your base. Nod uses a different approach. They rely on airstrips instead of weapons factories. Terrible. When you see an empty vehicle on the battlefield, Climb inside and use it to your advantage. Head yes. outside and approach the Humvee. Wait, no, not here. Not this way. You didn't not. finish the course. You need to reach all. You didn't finish the course. You need to reach all four check. You didn't finish the course. Hey, you need you to reach all quiet? four checkpoints before I can pass you. You mean the blue stars on my radar? Okay. Sorry, Teach. I'll try it again. All right. So what? Jeez, I don't like when that happens. So, we're supposed to get a vehicle. I'm confused. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My bad. Right. While facing the first person in the vehicle is the driver. Next is the gunner. Others are passengers if the vehicle carries other personnel. If you are the only person in the vehicle, you are simultaneously driving and gunning. Aim the machine gun with the targeting reticle and drive with the movement keys. Press forward to accelerate and backward to brake or reverse. Take the Humvee around the entire track to complete the next... Next vehicle is the medium tank. This is a treaded vehicle, meaning it turns tighter and has more... You can squish infantry units with some vehicles. Here are some targets for you to practice squishing. I like how random nod so they disappear around the base. I don't really want to squish those. But I guess I have to. Wow, this, this thing's turning is... 
is terrible. Okay, once I start turning, it starts going to a crawl. I guess we don't have to squish everything. We can blow some up. Like so. Gunner. Logan, or whatever. Oh my gosh. He just teleported to the side of our vehicle. I suppose they wouldn't allow us to squish him anyway. Oh, what the heck? We're done? Is he? Not gonna talk to me? Fine. Let's go. Oh, wait. Missy, I have a present for you. Thanks for teaching us uh, how to do things. I'll see you later, alright? Don't mind the beeping. Logan, where are you? Uh, okay, I'll just follow the star. Holy shit, did I actually do that? Maybe I did. Hey, Logan. Uh, okay. This is the Tiberium it. Refinery. Dr. Mobius will explain its operation inside. Come back when you're done. Alright, cool. So, this is... Also has multiplayer purpose. That's why we're getting all these... Welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Ignatio Mobius. This is the Tiberium Refinery, a processing center for Tiberium harvests. All base operations and production rely upon the harvesting of Tiberium. Simply put, Tiberium is the primary source of income for your base. The same is true for Nod. Tiberium itself is still a mystery I have yet to solve, but we do know it collects valuable minerals from the surrounding area. Suffice to say, Tiberium is valuable. The important thing to know is it is also harmful to human tissue. Stay away from it or expect damage. Go outside and meet with the officer. He will continue your tour of the facilities. I like your hat. See ya. Where'd your hat go? <laughs> Alright, enough playing around. Let's go back up. So yeah, that that's mostly for multiplayer. Though it does You ready? Our next stop is the power plant. Follow me. It does matter a bit for when we're doing the campaign. Which would multiplayer is pretty cool, but I don't know if I'll actually get, show you guys that. Yes. This is the power plant. Head inside for the briefing. Meet me here when you're done. My name is Elena Petrova. This is not my normal field of work, so I'm going to make this quick. This is the power plant. It supplies power to other buildings. Destroying a power plant will shut down other structures. Watch what happens when the power plant is disabled. Some of the affected buildings will have slower operation and production. Others shut off entirely. Keep in mind, not every building requires power to function. We are finished. Meet up with your guide outside. Wonderful. Can we... Man, this tutorial so long. That's it. My job's done, sir. Wow. Yeah. Are we done? Can we actually go to Captain the Captain Parker, I'm Lieutenant Moss. To show the effects of building destruction, let's start a simulated Nod assault. Okay, wonderful. I can't move, by the way, guys. Control terminal, the heart of a building. This is what happens when a building is destroyed. Once a building is destroyed, it can no longer be repaired. You can complete the tutorial by eliminating the Nod officers, who are coordinating reinforcements. You'll recognize them when you see them, but your reticle information will tell you for sure. If you need more, if you need more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the tutorial. My goodness. Kind of regret 
doing that because half, like almost half of it was irrelevant multiplayer stuff. Now let's go to the campaign. We are going to... Who cares, let's do Commando. We're the best. They kind of lag there. So yeah, most of the stuff won't matter in the campaign.